In this episode of Tech Tips, we'll look at the learning plan screen on the H30 series meters. The learning plan screen will automatically scan the currently selected channel plan and create a new channel plan for you with the channels that it finds with carriers present. This is the easiest way to create your own custom channel plans. I'll pause the scan for a moment so we can look at all the information on this screen. On the screen you'll see the current channel of the total channels to be scanned. You'll also see the number of channels with carriers present, both digital and analog. In the background, you'll see the channel, frequency, and a gray bar for the current channel being scanned. If you see a stacked red, yellow, or green with a white bar, that's an analog channel with the red, yellow, or green being the video and the white being the audio carrier power levels. The green, yellow, or red on the video power is determined by the quality profile that is selected. If it's a digital channel, then you'll only see the green, yellow, or red bar, again for the power level of the channel, based on the selected quality profile. In the upper right area, you'll see the video and audio power levels measured for analog channels or power and carrier to noise ratio for the digital channels. In the bottom left, you'll see the current channel of the total number of channels that are in the new plan. This will be more useful after the scan is done. At the very top, you'll see the current channel plan that is being scanned, the selected quality profile, time of day, and battery level. You'll see you can press the back key at any time to cancel the feature too. Now I'll speed up the video to the end of the scan. You can very quickly see we have a lot of good power digital channels, one good NTSC channel, three analogs with warnings on power, and one out of spec on the video power. Now you'll see you can slide around and look at the individual channels in the plan. Here you can see when you press OK on a channel, you can choose to include or reject that specific channel. In this case, you'll see that when the channel is rejected, the measurements go away as do the power bars. All that remains is the gray bar for the current selected channel. Here I put the channel back in the plan. When done, just press back and you'll be able to save the new plan for future use. You'll see you can press OK to save the plan or back to cancel. Before you save, you can spin to select the number of the plan to save from 0 to 20. If it shows in red, there is already a plan with that number. To see the stored plans from the browser on your computer or tablet, make sure your H30 is connected to the internet and enter the address you have for your meter in your browser. You'll see this main menu. Then select the channel plan icon here. You'll see the channel plan we created on the H30 here. The plans with the dark gray background are factory supplied and cannot be changed or deleted. If you select one though, you can see the details of all the channels in the plan. You'll see the channel number, frequency, and bandwidth of each channel. Select here and you can export any plan, even the factory supplied ones, to edit and import later. The output will be a CSV file. If we look at the FCC return plan, you'll see you can have letters in the name as well as shown here for the T channels. Now let's look at the plan we created on the H30 and you'll see all the channels the meter found. You can easily delete a channel if you want by selecting any of the red X's. Notice channel 2 is now gone. You can add a channel by selecting here. You can type the channel name, letters and numbers, we'll just put channel 2 back. For the rest of the parameters you can enter the number, as we'll do for the frequency. Or you can use the up and down arrows next to the parameter to change it too. If you leave the video offset at 0, then the meter calculates the normal position for the video carrier if an analog channel is present. You can override this by changing it. 
the new channel is added to the bottom, but if you go out and back, it'll sort it for you again. Here you'll see channel 2 is back at the beginning. If you've made changes to the plan that you are happy with and want to keep, just select to save the channel plan here. Otherwise, just select channel plans here to go back without saving. You can edit the plan name to something you'll recognize easier by selecting here, then simply type in the new name. You can also delete a plan if you are done with it or just don't want it on the H30 anymore. If you select Import Plan here, you can simply pick a file you have stored by selecting here and then select Import to bring that plan into your meter. This way you can store a plan at one system and import it on all your H30s without having to take every one of your H30s to that site and learn it all over again. We hope you enjoy this entire set of tech tips on the H30 series of meters.